Sorry, please come again. Okay, I'll come again. In a distant marriage. In a distant marriage. Is masturbation or phone sex allowed? Masturbation like or you phone sex yes. let, me, uh, let me answer that okay. question so yes. that we will move on. I'm going to keep it short. Okay. Um, it's a distant marriage and your sexual needs have to be met. The Bible tells us that, you know, there's no, God doesn't really give us um, clear, how do I put it now? Clear instruction on what to do inside your marriage. I don't know if you understand what I mean. When you're married, he kind of leaves you guys to know how to explore. So there's no rule that says, oh, don't kiss on the forehead, kiss in the ear. It doesn't say those, it doesn't break it down. So when it comes to that kind of thing, God is trusting both of you to make the decision on what works. I don't really know if phone sex becomes masturbation. It can't be masturbation if two of us are talking on the phone. And if there's no other way for their sexual needs to be met, what should they do? They should burn. They are married. Mm. So it is their decision. So I don't even think that that is... Now, my only challenge mm. is I think about the length of time. Mm. I think about the fact that if the, there must be a plan. I don't like long distance marriage of where um, we don't know, let's be seeing how it goes. Because if the man is turned on and the phone sex thing is not working, he has to now go and express himself or the woman needs to now go and finish what you people started. Mm. So it becomes dangerous. Mm. You leave room for external <laughs> candidates. Exactly, on network. Mm. So, so that's when I have a problem with these things. Huh? Uh, that's what she saying. So I, it, it becomes a problem for me. Mm. So I really feel like you should have a plan mm. um, of when two of you are going to be together. That's why I don't like that. We are here. My husband went to go out so then we go and meet him. We are destroying marriage because of money. And I keep saying money is not everything. It's not everything. Mm. And then there must also be discipline. If we decide that we decide to be apart for a while, we should also be disciplined. Because it's those things that open the door for other things to come in. But really, it's not our place to tell somebody what they do in their bed or out of their bed. God leaves that judgment to you, both of you. Marriage bed is honorable in all things. Oh. Whatever you could decide to do is between two of you. Oh. God is not marking, he's not there looking at what you are doing. Oh. He is busy, he's not looking at, okay, they remove cloths now. Okay, they now bend. He's not doing that. So let's, let, God leaves that to you and you have the spirit of God. If at some point you feel like this thing we are doing is not good, the Bible says, see that nowhere to do good and do it not to him sin. If you know at one point, then stop it. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise God.